Before you even start playing the accordion, there are some things you must know first which will determine the level of success you will have with this instrument. I've adjudicated many international accordion competitions all over the world, and I can tell you, if accordionists don't have these eight basic elements down, it affects not only their overall program, but the quality of sound and control they have with their instrument. In this video, to set you up for success, you'll learn eight crucial things you need to know before you even play your first note on the accordion. The following clip you're about to see is taken from the Level 1 Core Curriculum Series in our online school, Accordion Life Academy. We have lots of in-depth, step-by-step training on how to play the accordion if you'd like to learn more. Thank you for your support, and if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button and the bell to be notified every time we post a new YouTube video. That helps us continue to bring quality resources to educate, inspire, and empower you to reach your musical potential. Chair position. Most accordionists sit to practice. When you sit in a chair, preferably a straight back chair, but a chair without arms or a bench, a soft cushy bench works, sit on the front edge of the chair with your back straight and your feet flat on the floor. Shoulder straps. The left shoulder strap closest to the base should be tighter than the right strap. Adjust it until your chin is directly above the point where the grill and the keyboard meet. The back strap. To keep the shoulder straps positioned correctly, a back strap is often used. Attach your back strap to the shoulder strap, snap in place, and adjust as needed. Your back strap can be straight across, at an angle, or some like to use two back straps. Just make sure the shoulder straps are close to the neck, fairly tight, and that the instrument feels secure against your body. Base strap. This is the base strap. To tighten or loosen this strap, move this wheel. In this case, the strap is too loose, so I'll tighten it by turning the wheel away from myself until it's snug. We have much more control when the base strap is tight against the wrist. Position of the keyboard. The bottom of the keyboard must be anchored inside the right leg. This will keep the accordion anchored in place when you squeeze the bellows. Keep both legs parallel to each other, but not too close. To find the perfect position, use your two fists and sandwich them between your knees, keeping your feet directly in line with your knees. With your keyboard anchored, legs parallel, the weight of your accordion should rest on your left leg. Be sure it's not the bellows that take the weight, but the actual accordion casing right arm position. It's very important that you have your right arm in this position, never this. If your straps are not adjusted properly and your accordion is too far to your right, it will be hard to maintain a proper arm position. You can use a mirror to check that you are in the exact position as you see me. The left arm in hand position. Slide the arm into the base strap until all the fingers can reach the second row of the bases. Use the very tip of the fingers to play. If your fingernails are kept trimmed, it's easier to maintain this posture. Never this. When you're playing, keep a tight contact with the instrument. This will give you more control of the sound. As some of you know, my concert instrument is the 96 bass Hona Fun Power. And one reason I switched to a 96 bass, besides the double bassoon register, which is amazing, is for its size. I used to play a 120 bass instrument, but I didn't know there was a problem with that until I was given the opportunity to play a 96 bass accordion. To my surprise, my sound and accuracy improved dramatically. Why? Well, a 120 bass accordion, as much as I loved it, was tall 
and I'm not so tall, I have a shorter torso. So it laid on me at an angle instead of straight up and down. This obviously gave me a different type of technique, positioning, etc. Once I switched to a 96 bass instrument, I could control it better and it sat vertical in an upright position on me because it was shorter and fit me well. That one change made a huge difference in my playing. So everything we talk about as far as the importance of positioning does play a critical role for how your music will ultimately sound. Let me know in the comments below what you struggle with when it comes to playing the accordion or any accordion content you'd like more of so we can continue to create videos that will be helpful for your accordion life. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss any of our new videos. I hope this was helpful for you. I did a video on the different types of bass systems and one on the different types of accordions. If you haven't seen these, check them out next. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.